Hello everybody, this is me Sam here from Gaming and today I'm going to show you how to use and install the Magic Carpet Plugin for Bucket. So the Magic Carpet Plugin for Bucket allows users to uh, fly on a carpet made of glass. Uh, it has some new features from the original Halo uh, version, if you're uh, familiar with that. And I'm going to go over uh, how to install and how it's uh, used. So first of all, this is the main thread. I'll provide a link in the description. And uh, you can read that, but I'm going to go over what it does. So first of all, we're going to download the version. At the moment, it's 1.5. And then you just want to drag that jar file into oh, stupid thing into your plugins directory. Okay, so let's minimise that. And I'm just gonna... So when you right, first of all, start up the server. This will uh, state that Magic Carpet version 1.5.5 is enabled, uh, and then you can use Magic Carpet OMC to use it. And because I don't have permissions, it's stating that anyone can use Magic Carpet. So we'll stop that. And uh, if you notice on the thread, there are now two permissions nodes: there's Magic Carpet.mc and Magic Carpet.ml. Now I'm going to go over what uh, MC and ML means uh, later. But I'm just going to go over the, the properties and uh, config. So we have the config.yml and the magic carpet properties. So we're going to open the config.yml. And these are basically um, just the basic properties of the, um, the magic carpet. So if we want to use permissions, uh, which is these properties permissions here, so any all the users you want to be able to use uh, um, use the carpet you can place here if you are not using permissions and so you can set that to false uh, crouch default this is when you want to go down on the magic carpet as I'll show later you can set this to false if you don't want people to press crouch to down and instead they'll have to look down and also putting glowstone for light in the center that has to do with ML and L go over that now so that's all the properties and so you're going to want to start the server up again just say it's all enabled again and then you're going to go to your local host and now this is just a random generated world but um, first of all how to use it um, we type in forward slash magic carpet or it's easier just to do MC and it should say a glass carpet appears below your feet uh, if it does, if it says uh, it falls and interferes, then you haven't got your permissions uh, set up correctly. So now, if I jump, you'll notice that a uh, glass carpet has uh, moved underneath me, and whenever I walk, it will just keep up to me and allow me to fly over the landscape and such like. So, as well as that, I can also do ML. If I do ML, this will put a, uh, a glowstone rim around the carpet, allowing me to use it in the dark, for instance. And uh, it's pretty cool. And of course, you can modify the use of this using the permissions node permission uh, magic carpet ML. And uh, that's that's why that permissions node is there for. Um, you can turn that off by doing ML. And there we are. We're going to, we can also change the size of the uh, carpet by doing MC and then the size. And there are three options: uh, three, five, seven. So if I do three, I get a nice small one. Or if I can do MC uh, seven, I get a really big one. So you can change it to wherever you like. Um, if I crouch, I go down. If I jump, I go up. And of course, if I move, I go around. But I also can also change it so that when I look down. I go down, and this is done by doing um, MCS, and now I can look down to descend. So now I'm descending while I'm looking down, and that basically sends, sums up the today's tutorial. I um, hope you enjoyed it. It's a great plugin. I I use it for my VIPs and builders because it just helps building so much easier. For instance, I can place like three blocks there, and it'll be floating. It's just a lot easier to do. So uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, tune in next time. Thanks for watching, goodbye.